Hey guys, I'm here today with my two picks haul for the month of February. If you are new to my channel and you do not know, I'm on a low buy for the entire year. I'm allowing myself two beauty products every month. It is anything I want, no rules. I do not have myself on a low buy for body products or nail polishes because I don't really buy those a lot anyways. I have more than enough, but I don't really have a problem with overbuying those, so I'm not limiting myself. If I need necessities, I'm able to pick that up. If it's, say, a regular mascara and I have mascaras in my collection, then no, I just can't replace my favorite. I do wear waterproof mascara every day. If I run out of that, I'm allowed to repurchase it, so that hopefully gives you a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing. So anyways, I did not pick up my February products until the last week of February. I was so indecisive. I just doing this two product I have to say it has not been hard at all but it makes me so much more conscious of what I want to pick up I want it to be really worthwhile well about halfway through the month I did place an order on Sephora for one of the new Marc Jacobs lipsticks in the color strange magic I had wanted it when it was originally and then they like redid it and I went to my Sephora and I swatched it on my hand and it looked perfect totally up my speed like a pale baby pink and I got it in the mail and put it on my lips and it was like, it was white out. It was so nasty. I boxed it up and sent it back. But in that order, I had redeemed some of my um, 100 points. And I got the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. I've never tried that. The Pink Gel Coat. I wanted to try this forever, so I was so excited about that. And then I picked up the little Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Cream in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And... I also got another thing I'll tell you. I, I guess I thought, I haven't really thought much about it, so I guess with my no buy, if I can get something for free, then I'm not going to count it because it's not like you get free things every day. You know, it's not like I can get a million of them. This color is really pretty. It's not my kind of typical color, but I think it would be very pretty if I was in a wedding or something like that where I wanted to have more of a statement lip but still very neutral and rosy so I'm happy I got that but I returned the lipstick so then I just couldn't decide and couldn't decide and went back to Sephora one day and looked around I picked up a sample of the hourglass illusion um like tinted something moisturizer in the shade shell I'm wearing it today um the coverage is okay I think I'll really enjoy this sample, but I don't think it'll be something I purchased. So I did get that sample. Then I also picked up a nail polish. I'm just including everything beauty I picked up this month. So I only purchased two true makeup products, but I had a few beauty products I picked up this month. The Julie G Nail Color in the shade Love Potion. I mentioned this in my favorites as a fail. So what's on my nails today, it's a pretty color, but the application and the texture and consistency was awful. So I'm going to pass this on to my mom. I did run out of my waterproof mascara and I've been using the Maybelline The Rocket forever. So I decided to try the Lash Sensational from Maybelline as well. I did pick up two. It was buy one get one half off. I had two coupons for $3 off each and a $4 off of 15 and a $5 off of 15 that I was able to use at CVS. I ended up paying 42 cents for both of them total. So I'm loving it so far. And then I did also use my Birchbox points for a product I've been wanting. It's the Malin and Goetz Lip Moisturizer. I think, I don't know how you pronounce it. I also had a code for like 25% off, so I got this for free. I've been loving it. So, now on to my real purchases. I watched Lisa Lisa D1's probably most re recent video where she picked up a few of the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Shines. And she's been wearing, you know, that um, neutral nude, she calls it, but with some color in her lips. And I think it looks so pretty. And she mentioned this might be kind of like a starter one for somebody wanting to get into that. It's the shade Suggestive. And I don't have anything on my lips today because I wanted to put this on and show y'all how it looks. I have really bad lighting because we're having like winter weather storm but I am really liking it 
I've only worn it twice so far but it kind of is like you're not wearing a lip color but it has like a little bride a little pop of something so it's a little more color than nothing but not quite a nude baby pink so that was my first purchase and my next purchase was something I have seen a few people mention and I thought it was up my alley I love my kind of like those green duochrome shadows this is the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow in the shade Solstice. I can't get into the box. So I decided to get it, and it is so freaking pretty. So this is what it looks like, but it really depends. Do you see that? It's like cranberry, and then it's like green. Everybody I've seen mention this says not to use it dry. I haven't had a chance to use it. So I think I may experiment with this tomorrow. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you see the dimension on that? Wow, guys. See, it's like a neutral, but with a pop of something else, you know? It makes it a little more fun and different. So, I'm really excited about that. And then, since I was on Sephora's website, I was looking at their codes, and there was a product I had been wanting to try ever since I saw Lisa Eldridge's rosacea video, which was like a week or two ago. The Ren Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. They had a coupon code for a deluxe size of this if you spent 25 so I had to add one more thing to my purchase. So I got one of the little um, Soap and Glory, the Righteous Body Butter Minis. I love these. So, you know, and this is a half ounce. So of the Wren, which is a really decent size to try it out. So I am going to be trying this as my morning moisturizer as soon as I'm done with the current one I'm using. So I'm really excited to try this. And I will be able to tell you guys that have rosacea what I think of this. So good 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 so in all these were my two picks the estee lauder and suggestive i think it's really pretty i'll probably like it a lot more in the spring summer and then the solstice i'll have to give you a better review once i've used it so and then other than that the only beauty products i picked up this month so for me i'm pretty proud you may be like mm, no but I'll tell you these are the only things I really paid for a nail polish which I'm gifting the little body butter my mascaras were like 21 cents each and then I got all these little things for free so the lip thing I mean I probably really didn't need a face lotion I can use up I probably didn't need a lipstick but it was free brush cleanser I mean that's a good thing to have and then the little nail coat so I think I did pretty good and I typically would put the other stuff in a different video and keep this one to my two picks but I didn't make the purchases till the end of the month and I had to get these videos up before the end of the month so that's why they're combined so from here on out it probably won't be so that's all and if you're on a low buy tell me what you have chose to pick up on your low buy and I guess we'll just see what um, March brings. I have a bunch of stuff that I kind of want, but I'm like, oh, I'll wait till summer. So I don't know what I'm going to pick up. So that's all. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.